so we learn about microwaves and these microwaves are used in radar system and microwave ovens so microwave oven is a regular use equipment and we have learned that the frequency of the microwaves used in this oven resonate with the natural frequency of the water which is 2.45 gigahertz so there is a resonance and amplitude of vibration of these water molecules increases very much which indeed increases the kinetic energy of the molecules and heats up the substance but this microwave oven works only with the things that contains water if the things don't contain water this microwave oven is useless so here is brief description about microwave let us read this the spectrum of electromagnetic radiation contains a part known as microwaves so that we have learned these waves have frequency and energy smaller than visible light so frequency and energy both are correlated both are proportional and these are smaller than of visible light and wavelength larger than it but the wavelength is larger than visible light what is the principle of a microwave oven and how does it work so important thing is that how does it work our objective is to cook food or warm it up so either we cook food or we warm it up all food items such as fruits vegetables meat cereals etc contain water so all these things have water in them as a constituent now that does it mean when we say that a certain object has become warmer when the temperature of a body rises the energy of the random motion of atoms and molecule increases so when we can say that something has become warmer so to say something has become warmer that means the temperature of the body has risen and the energy of random vibration or random motion of atoms has increased so previously this much vibration now this is much more so this is warmer further warm further further vibration so if the amplitude of this vibration increases then we can say that this thing is more warm but this is for the same thing so and the molecule travel or vibrate rotate with higher energies so these molecule or atoms are vibrating with higher energies the frequency of rotation of water molecule is about 2.45 gigahertz so for water molecule this frequency is 2.45 gigahertz if water receives microwave of this frequency its molecule absorb this radiation so if we put so natural frequency is 2.45 gigahertz if we give the same frequency this water molecule will absorb that energy which is equivalent to heating up the water so this is the same as we are heating this water these molecules share this energy with neighboring food molecules heating up the food so what happens these molecule will start vibrating much more rapidly and this vibration will transfer into food items or food molecules immediately or ultimately all the food food will will heat up one should use porcelain vessels not the metal containers in a microwave oven why why should we not use the metal container because of the danger of getting a shock from the accumulated electric charge so this we have learned when electromagnetic hit waves hit some kind of metal so there is charge in motion on this this metallic surface so if we use instead of porcelain bowl if we use a metallic bowl so there will be a charge build up and we will get hurt by this electric shock metals may also melt from heating so it is not only the shock but metals may also melt from the heating the porcelain container remains unaffected and cool so this is very important because porcelain container can, does not have that water so it will not heat up because it is large molecules it its large molecules vibrate and rotate with much smaller frequency so frequencies will not match and thus cannot absorb microwaves so porcelain dish or porcelain utensils do not absorb heat but metal metal utensils can absorb 
hence they do not get heated up so what gets heated up only water molecules and they transfer the heat to nearby food molecules thus the basic principle of a microwave oven is to generate microwave radiation appropriate frequency in the working space of the oven where we keep the food so what is microwave oven doing so they are generating the radiation with the appropriate frequency where in the region where we keep the food so it is not outside the microwave oven but inside the microwave oven where we put the food this way energy is not wasted in heating up the vessel so what happens when this energy is resonating with the water so energy is not wasted in the heating of the vessel but in normal cooking cooking over the gas this energy is wasted in the conventional heating methods the vessel on the burner gets heated first and the food inside gets heated because after all the energy from the vessel so first that vessel gets heated up then food because of the energy transfer from the vessel to food but in microwave only the food gets heat up not the vessel in the microwave oven on the other hand energy is directly delivered to water molecules which is shared by the food so food directly heats up and a very simple example that sometimes we eat some snacks in the market which are heated up in microwave oven and we find sometimes inner part of that snacks especially samosa is very hot but outside layer is not hot why it is so so if we eat some snacks so inner part contains a high level of water molecules so this heated heats up to a higher temperature t1 and outer layer which has less amount of water is heated up to a less temperature because microwave works on the water molecules so this t1 is greater than t2 that's why sometimes inner part is very hot while when we touch we find that it is not hot but when we eat up we find that inner part is quite hot next type of radiation are infrared rays infrared waves are produced by hot bodies and molecules so previously we have learned about radio waves which were very large in wavelength then we learned about microwaves now we are learning about infrared waves so infrared waves are produced by hot bodies and molecules so these are produced by all the bodies that are hot this band lies adjacent to the low frequency or long wavelength end of the visible spectrum so if we see this visible spectrum visible spectrum start at 400 nanometer in terms of wavelength so in terms of wavelength and ends at 700 nanometer so this is in nanometer so this is visible part visible just below the visible is the uv range and just above this visible is infrared or ir range infrared just below uv just above ir infrared waves are sometimes referred to as heat waves so these are called heat waves because these are generated by hot bodies this is because water molecules present in the most materials readily absorb infrared rays why because the water molecules that are present in many of the substances directly absorb this infrared waves many other molecules for example co2 nh3 also absorb infrared waves so this co2 nh3 also absorb infrared infrared waves that's why this global warming is increasing with the increasing amount of co2 after absorption their thermal motion increases that we have learned that when this molecule gets some energy so vibration or motion increases that is they heat up and heat their surroundings so in this way co2 is getting infrared and they get more and more motion and they are heating up the in their heating up their surroundings infrared lamps are used in physical therapy so in physical therapies of our injuries so we what we use infrared lamps infrared radiation also plays an important role in maintaining earth's warmth or average temperature so how can we maintain or how the earth maintains its temperature by infrared waves or infrared radiation through the greenhouse effect 
so this greenhouse effect is nothing when this energy from the sun enters to the earth co2 and other molecules absorb this heat and they trap this heat they trap this heat it will not go completely outside and this effect is called greenhouse effect but if it is reduced the earth will cool down if this increase earth will heat up so that's why we have to maintain the amount of co2 in the environment if this co2 will keep on increasing the earth will get warmer and warmer 